Olympian Clara Hughes is on an epic ride, 12,000 kilometers in 110 days around the country. And if that doesn't impress you, guess what? She started this extreme trip during one of the coldest and bitterest times of the year. Today, I want to get a first-hand sense of just how tough she's got it. So that's why I came here, to a facility called ACE at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, where they have a one-of-a-kind facility that can simulate the kinds of conditions that Claire is going through right now. And I'm not doing this alone. I have Jessica Caterini with me from the University of Toronto. You're a physiology grad student, and you're going to help measure what's going on here. So what are you going to measure exactly? Today we're going to look at your heart rate, and we're also going to measure your oxygen consumption, which is a really good indicator of how hard you're actually working on the bike today. All right. So how do you do that? Today I'm going to strap on a heart rate monitor. This is an instrumentation device that measures how hard you're breathing and how hard you're working. This looks like something I would pee into, but I put this on my face? Yes, yeah, you put that on your face. And this just measures how hard I suck air back, or what? With this on the front. Okay, Dan, now I want you to bike at about Clara Hughes' speed, which is about 25 kilometers an hour, and let's see how you do. All righty. He thinks he can do this all day. Okay, you can stop now. So your heart rate was 125, and your oxygen consumption was 21 mils per kilogram per minute. You know, it didn't feel that bad. You could physiologically do that all day. So I'm Clara Hughes, basically. 25 kilometers an hour, I could do that all day. That's what she's doing. It's the same thing, right? Well, not quite. She's biking outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the wind in the tunnel, and I'm going to turn up the resistance on your bike so that you feel the wind. Like her. Like she does. All right, let's do it. Okay, John, increase the wind speed to 35 kilometers an hour. All right. Tyson, slowly ramp it up to 35. Woo! Oh. Okay. This is harder. Woo! He's feeling the burn now. Still manageable, but definitely worse. Okay, Dan, how'd that feel? Well, that was definitely harder. Well, your heart rate was 20% higher, and your oxygen consumption was 50% higher. So you're definitely working, and you were building up lactic acid, so you couldn't do that all day. Yeah, yeah, that was way harder. So there you go. A little bit of wind makes a big difference, and that's why this is harder for Clara Hughes than it would be in a gym or something like that. And our experiment is all finished. Oh, no, no, you're not quite done yet. Clara Hughes is biking in Canada. So let's throw some elements at you to see how hard that is. almost to his maximum capacity in the snow and this driving wind is really making him work super hard. Are you done? Uh, you're done. You're, yeah. you're done. That is about all I can take. Hey, so how'd that feel? That sucked. That was terrible. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> Physiologically, you worked way harder during that test than you did during the first test and even during the second test when we had the wind going. Yeah, I could tell. Your heart rate was 45% higher than the first test and your oxygen consumption was 80% higher than during the first test as well. So what does this tell us about Clara Hughes then? Well, Clara Hughes is going to be biking 12,000 kilometers during her entire trip. If she was dealing with these elements all the time, which she may not be, she will probably be biking, physiologically, about 20,000 kilometers. That's what it would feel like. Okay, all right. But, I mean, that was, that was a little extreme. I mean, she is going to have bad days, but presumably not all of them will be like that. No, but she is going to have to deal with altitude as she goes up into the mountains. In the summer leg of her tour, extreme temperatures. There are going to be a lot of elements thrown at her. All right. Okay, well, Jessica, thank you so much for torturing me. Hope you enjoyed it. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> I did enjoy it a little bit, but it was pretty rough.